is living in the same building. And there's a big party in your building next week where all of you are going with your friends, family, and kids. On the other hand, I am the new COVID variant. And secretly, I am also living in your building for some time and getting stronger in the day. By the time the party comes, I get really strong and infectious. So when I crash the party, I make everyone sick. And since I'm new, the old vaccinations cannot even stop me from spreading and making people suffer. Now, imagine if you were notified with a report prior to the party that said, hey, there is a new COVID variant secretly living in your building and it's getting stronger. Would you still go to the party? I assume you would not. And that is exactly what I'm trying to do in my PhD project, generating a report that can reveal the potential new COVID variant even before it is strong enough to make people sick. And to do that, all I need from you is your building's poop water. I know what you're thinking. Ew! But hey, trust me, it gets better. Even though it sounds interesting, but using the poop water to detect the potential new COVID variant is a bit more challenging in real life. Because when it is processed, most of what is found is everyone's poop with their DNA, but only a tiny little part underneath the new COVID variant's DNA. And this little part is not enough to generate that. So our plan is to take this little part and then photocopy it and keep doing that until it is enough to generate that report. This whole process is known as sequencing. The reports that are generated by sequencing can tell us what are the variants that are leaving your building, if they're increasing or decreasing over time, if they're getting more or less infectious due to mutation, and most importantly, if there is a new COVID variant secretly living in your building. Now, can you imagine if we could get all this information about the new COVID variant even before it is strong enough to make people sick, how well prepared all of us and the healthcare system could be to fight it? Once again, I know what you're thinking. Wow. And that, my friend, is the journey from ew to wow. Thank you. The People's Choice Award. That one goes to Janet Tool Pedros. <laughs>